Hi guys, my name's Amber, I'm 18 years old and I've been playing the social networking game Have a Hotel for around 4 years now. I recently read the article that Channel 4 aired on the Channel 4 News website and was shocked at the way they portrayed Have a Hotel in such a negative way and they didn't show any positives at all. The game has certain rules and regulations. One of these regulations is you must provide us with the accurate and complete registration information about yourself and you must ensure registration information is true and accurate at all times. Which immediately calls to my attention that the producer of Channel 4, Rachel, broke this term. She posed as an 11 year old girl trying to seek out the information that she needed and then posted a news report about how adults go on as little children and be paedophile. Another rule I would like to express is the age limit that is given to Hallows when they first sign up, which is the fact that they need to be 13 and over to sign up. If the parent has an issue with Hallow Hotel and the child is under the age of 13, then it is their own responsibility to the fact that they didn't stop their child playing the game when they had a chance to, and it's your responsibility to block the Habo's website from your computer. The CEO of Habo said there are millions of chats going on every single day and they can only monitor so many of them as they only have about 200 moderators. Now asking one single person or asking 200 moderators to police 70 million chats is like asking one policeman to seek out an arrest and convict 286,000 crimes and crime committers that it just can't be done. The fact that Channel 4 has now driven the CEO into taking such drastic measures as to now hide all the social and dating in chat rooms and muting the entire Habo community, as you can see here that the entire Habo is dead silent, it is more silent than when the Twin Towers fell. Rachel commented on the news report and said that she had little cartoon boys coming up to her and saying they were feeling her boobs and basically went going into her bedroom and having sex with her without her permission um, or her encouragement. There are a couple of things I'd like to say about that. One, never add a habo unless you know they're mature enough to act their age. If you go and you meet a guy who is just like ads with nothing to say and then they pop up and then they start talking to you in a sexual manner, you delete that person immediately, tell them to get lost, tell them to go get a life, Tell them to go get laid, whatever. Number two, the fact that you went into a dating room is encouragement enough to have sex or to go dating, to get added, to start that sexual conversation. Number three, don't let other habos follow you into a room. If you haven't spoken to them before, don't add them, don't let them follow you. Turn your follow setting off. Four, there's a kick button for a reason. Use the kick button. It's so much easier than to let habos touch you, just kick them out the room. As a foot up their ass, be gone. If the chat gets too explicit for the player to they may simply hit the ignore and report button, which is also advised in the Habo rules and regulations. It's also common sense. I've had many other players agree with me and my opinions on this Channel 4 news finanza, and they wished for me to show their views in this news report to basically tell Channel 4 that they have given a very biased and opinionated news report and only regarded the other parts of Habo in a very childish and sarcastic form of text and form of speech in their, in their reports. Habo may be, may be seemingly sexual but it also provides a haven for very insecure kids who are unable to communicate and socialise in real life very well and they find it hard to. It's a chance to make great friends who can get to know someone. Maybe if that someone lies, then yes, it's bad. But if you have two honest people that get to know each other, be friends, then it's great. It's so good. They're going to be always there for you. I think instead of Channel 4 aiming the news broadcast at sites like Habo, they should start focusing on real life issues. For example, the things that make kids insecure, make kids turn to Habo for more advice or for more friends. Schools and bullies and parents and it's pretty much the ideology that society has given that has scared these kids into going out and making new friends. But yes, Habo has flaws, but so does everything. The woman in your video, Rebecca Newton, gives a short statement supporting the findings on Habo. However, this individual, Rebecca Newton, also known as Bex or Beckers in Habo, who she was part of Habo Hotel staff in 2004 and 2007. She served as the director of operations and the head of the moderator at Su Sulaki, 
Bex was in charge of the team of hotel moderators in certain countries. See, what I am struggling to understand is I have asked other Havos what a hotel was like in 2004 and they say it was the same, there were less people, but it was the same sexual content um, and very little has changed. Maybe it's got more explicit as the as society has grown. My point is, is that so nothing's changed, so why does she now take action against Havo? I read her report um, on Gamstra about why human moderation is not enough and I completely, I completely, if you're watching this, I completely agree with you that human moderation is not enough. It is true that it's not enough, but why, why now? Why didn't you push this subject up earlier and they could attack this a while ago? I just want to say to Channel 4 that now you have ruined Havo and ruin Hablo's reputation, I'm waiting for the news report on IMVU, on IMVU where you can actually go into rooms called have sex here, you can buy VIP, you can then actually have sex, you can move into sexual positions, where's that? I know there's an age range on that as well, but you can lie like some kids do on here. What about World of Warcraft, Facebook, MySpace, Daily Move, Twitter, Tumblr, Club Penguin, the list goes on and on and on of other games like Hablo, so where are the news reports like that? I think that Channel 4 should create a news report on something that supports Havo, the people that support Havo and the Havo community. Maybe show the videos of that people have made against the Channel 4 because if they don't then it's a very biased and opinionated channel if I remember um, from my media studies. News channels are meant to be informative, they're supposed to inform, they're supposed to show you but they're not supposed to plant any biased or one-sided or opinionated views. I think you should get opinions from other people because now <coughs> people like me who are over the age of 14 who are mature enough to understand what's going off, people who don't run around screwing other pixelated things are now having their time on have a ruined because of people who are acting immaturely and who are underage and it's it's really I'm gonna sound like a child here but it's not fair and it's not fair on us and it's not fair on people that actually go on there to talk to other people, talk to their friends. I think that people with a repeated history of being banned for sexual explicit content should be banned. Um, and if they, if it's maybe they've been muted or banned from the site for a couple of hours lots and lots of times and they should be taken off the site. Um, but I don't think people who have not done anything towards the sexual nature of Habo should be punished. And I think maybe they should actually start realising that Habo is not a kids game anymore. It is not really appropriate for kids because the the when I was when I first joined, um, it was quite a while back, I didn't play for that long, I had one character and I played for about a week, but we had the Habo hand, the cute little Habo child thing and a little hand. We had a little purse as well for our coins um, and we didn't have all these these new kind of games. We just had the simple simple room games, we had the simple rooms, we had the news, uh, we had Habo fan sites, all those stuff that could actually make kids interactive and it, everything that was for kids has now been taken away and it's all been upgraded and it's now gone into the world of older adolescent teens. I now think that the age range should now be in 16 plus because then that would scrap the Channel 4 entire thing on sexual explicit behaviour um, because 16 is the age that you're allowed to have sex. Um, I basically I basically sent a letter with all of this information to Channel 4 with people backing up my idea but I want to know what you think. I want to know in a mature sense what you think of Habo Hotel, whether you think or well, basically what you think of Channel 4's news. If you don't like Havo, you don't play Havo, um, you haven't played Havo for a while, please don't comment on this video because you haven't played it, you don't know what it's like, and you've only been given a very one-sided biased report on Channel 4 if you've only heard of it since Channel 4. You have to play it, you have to know it, you have to understand it to be able to comment on it. I've had such great friends who have saved me so many times and who have boosted my confi confidence, confidence, I no, confidence, and who have stopped me feeling so insecure about myself and I just don't think that it's fair on the CEO of Habo, on Sulaki, on people that play it, on the tens of thousands of teenagers that have now been abroad 
am thoroughly pissed off by Channel 4 and I just don't think it's fair. So if you agree then comment below. Um, if you don't agree, please comment below but don't be too harsh or too rash with your comments. Just comment down below and yeah I hope you enjoyed this part. This is the first time I've done, I've done this so I hope I've got everything right. Yeah, subscribe and add me on Habbo. My name is Deep Meaning. I'll leave that at the bottom as well and 